handy to talk about differential equations in terms of the corresponding differential operator. <coughs> so uh, an operator, and we'll denote them by L for linear, out of complete lack of imagination. Uh, so an operator L transforms a function into some other function. So um, for if u is the name of our function, then LU uh, is also going to be some function. Okay, and so um, standard examples, uh, we might have that L is uh, a differential operator. And then in this case, L applied to u would just be the partial derivative of u with respect to x. Um, we might have L looking like, say, um, uh, time differential minus k times, whoops, um, second space differential. And then uh, L applied to u would be um, ut minus k u x x. So for this differential operator, L u equals zero is the heat equation. Um, what else? Let's see. Well, we say that um, L is a linear operator if and only if two things have to be true. First, if we apply it to a sum of functions, then this is the same thing as L applied to u plus L applied to v. <coughs> And the other thing is that whenever there's a scalar or constant, then when we apply it to the constant uh, multiple or scalar multiple, that's the same thing as first applying the operator to u and then multiplying by c afterwards. And so you should recognize this from your uh, linear algebra classes. It's exactly the same uh, definition that we have there. Um, and what that means... Uh, sort of practically is that uh, a linear operator is one that can be written in this form. So it looks like some uh, partial derivatives of u multiplied by a coefficient that has no u's or derivative of u's in it, just functions of the independent variables, plus another partial derivative of u that might have a coefficient function consisting of uh, some some expression involving the independent variables, but not u or its derivatives, and so on and so forth. So, in other words, a linear PDE is a linear combination of partial derivatives of u. And with that definition in mind, we say that um, LU equal to F is a linear PDE if and only if L is a linear operator. We also say that LU equals F is homogeneous if and only if the forcing function F is identically equal to zero. So I'm using the triple bar here for identically equal. So let's look at some examples for each of these. So we'll take um, ut to be, uh, let's say, sine of x times the ux plus e to the xt. And we'll look at ut equals um, sine of u times ux, and we'll take ux squared to be 4u plus x, and we'll take ut uh, minus ku double x equal to 6. Um, so sort out for each of these whether you think it's linear or homogeneous or neither or both. So pause the video for a second and take a good look and think about which ones you think are linear and which ones you think are homogeneous. Okay, so I'm going to write the operator 
for each of these ones. So this, the operator would look like, let's see. Um, well, we've got a time derivative minus sine x times the first space derivative. For the next one, we've got time derivative minus sine of the input function times space derivative. This one looks like, let's see, we've got um, dx squared minus four times the identity operator. And here we've got uh, time derivative minus k times second spatial derivative. Okay, and so this, uh, so now in terms of the equations, this is LU equals e to the xt. This one is um, LU equals zero. This one is LU equals x. And this one is LU equals six. So let's see now. So in terms of um, linear and homogeneous, um, this one is linear, but not homogeneous because it has this uh, non-zero f here. Um, the next one we have is is not linear because we have this sine of u term right here. That's not a function of the independent variables only. It includes the state variable. Oh, what happened here? So that one is um, not linear. Uh, it is homogeneous because we have a zero. Uh, in the next case, uh, we have something that is not linear because of this uh, squared uh, derivative here. But um, it, uh, and it's also not homogeneous because of the x. And in the last one, we have something which is uh, linear and it is not homogeneous because we have a, a six instead of a zero here.